Time for an all-time classic. Basic ingredients, basic recipe, but such a sensational result. Trust me, anyone can get this right. Let's make a slow cooked pot roast on the One Pot Chef. Let's get started on our pot roast. First, we're gonna need some beef. I've got a nice beef roast here. It's about one kilogram or just over two pounds of beef. And I've cut it into two roughly equal pieces. And the main reason I do this is when I'm cooking things in a slow cooker, particularly a large piece of meat, I find that two smaller pieces will cook evenly and quicker than one giant piece of beef. So that's basically the theory behind slow cooking. Smaller pieces cook better than one large piece. So set that aside and we'll start working on our dredging mixture. In a bowl, I've got a cup of flour, which is just basically plain all purpose flour. I'm gonna season that with some salt and some pepper. And just mix that all together with a fork. And one at a time, we're just going to dredge the pieces of the roast in this flour mixture. We just want to get a nice light coating over all sides. I put a little bit of olive oil into a fry pan over medium to high heat. We're just going to let that pan get nice and hot and then we're going to sear each of the sides of the beef roasts. That way we can lock in all that goodness and get a nice crust on the outside. I've lightly greased the inside of our slow cooker pot with some cooking spray. And to that, I'm gonna add in our vegetables. First, I've got five medium potatoes, which I've just peeled and quartered. Five carrots, again, peeled and quartered. And one onion, peeled and quartered. I'm just gonna mix those together. Place our browned beef portions over the vegetables. And I've got one and a half cups of beef stock, which I'm just gonna pour over everything. And all that's left to do is to put on the lid and set it on the low setting and we're going to allow it to cook for nine hours. Now, please do not remove the lid under any circumstances. Just let it sit there. It's very tempting to open the lid to see how it's cooking or to give things a stir. No reason to do that. Just let it cook. And the cooking's all done. So we've got our two lovely pieces of roast fully cooked there and all the vegetables underneath. So we're just going to simply Gently remove the two roast pieces and then with a slotted spoon, we're gonna take out all of the vegetables and then we're gonna use this cooking liquid to make some gravy. I've poured that cooking liquid into a saucepan with the exception of a quarter of a cup of the liquid, which I've just put into a coffee mug and I've stirred up with two tablespoons of corn flour or cornstarch. I'm just gonna pour that mixture straight in there and we're just going to whisk this mixture until the mixture boils and then we're going to let it boil for about a minute keep whisking it until our gravy thickens up you can see the gravy is starting to darken up and it's much thicker than it was so that's looking just about right we're ready to pour this into a jug and we'll be ready to serve i've put all the vegetables on a platter and i put one half of the roast i haven't carved it i've carved the other side i'm going to put a bit of that gravy over the top of the carved meat beautiful I simply cannot wait to have a taste of this. This looks so succulent and delicious. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> Some potato too. Mmm. Absolutely stunning. Mmm. The meat is beautiful and moist and tender. It literally just melts in your mouth. Potato is infused with all the flavors of the carrots and the beef and the stock. Absolutely stunning. And that gravy. <laughs> Honestly, this is the ultimate meal where there is literally no wastage with the exception of the peels of the vegetables. You even use the cooking liquid that's left over at the end instead of tipping it down the sink or in the bin, you can make it into gravy. I mean, how fantastic is that? Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time. See you later. Another great thing about making a pot roast like this is that you will always have leftovers. And trust me, you have not lived until you've had a pot roast sandwich for lunch the next day. Absolutely beautiful pot roast, that gravy, a few other fillings, absolutely amazing. Mm. Yum. <laughs>